Release the Kraken! Alrighty, Star Trek fans, we are back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Discovery Arc, Part 4, Terran Invasion. The great empires that look down on you will collapse beneath your, our, our fury. There's going to be new officers, there's going to be new missions, there's the new sarcophagus ship. So, yes, I was wrong, and sometime in the near future, there's going to be an interesting video as soon as I figure out how to eat a hat. Anyway, since this is an arc, and this is also the month of December, it's going to be one busy month as far as in-game events go. Uh, 8th and the 9th, we have the Upgrade the Sarcophagus event. Uh, that's a new ship, which you can buy outright right now. Uh, there is a free-to-play path, and we'll go over that later. There's also Earn the Sarcophagus. There's an event going on right now that allows you to earn blueprints for the Sarcophagus. Officer Collect and Upgrade Events. PvP. These new PvP events seem rather exciting. They actually seem balanced and fair this go-around. There's a Collect Resources Event. Spend Resources Event. Takeover Events. And the holiday event. And we will get to our game screen here real quick. Alrighty. Now that we're here, we're going to go into our exterior. Check out our billboard. Release notes. Batch 25 is zooming into the galaxy. Introducing Discovery Arc Part 4, the new sarcophagus ship, new territory capture service, event stores, missions from the Mirror Universe, new officers including... Gabriel Lorca, Emperor Giorgio, and the rare Captain Sylvia Tilly. New avatars and frames. Sarcophagus ship is a new ship that's useful during territory capture. This thing is a giant tank with like a 180 millimeter cannon. Uh, TC service with the implements of sarcophagus. We're going to release some specific services that will unlock sarcophagus upgrade materials. Activating the services is going to be territory capture stuff. There's the new event store. New officers, we'll go over the officers. New missions, uh, new discovery missions, continue the discovery journey from where we left off. There's going to be 20 main missions focused on the Discovery Mirror Universe, 20 missions including the battle pa to be included in the battle pass, and the missions will be apparently clearly labeled this time to avoid confusion. New avatars and frames, avatars, Gabriel, Empress Giorgio, Captain Tilly, and of course the sarcophagus. There's going to be a Terran Empire frame and there's going to be a holiday frame. Bug fixes. Uh, fix a few issues here and there. Um, fix an issue that was causing in-game notifications to happen randomly during the tutorial. Uh, let's see. There was one issue that came up. Da -da 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 -da. Lots of bug fixes. Improvements. Uh, when a system is under a takeover, the game will inform players in the alliances who have not joined the takeover that they need to join in order to participate. Outside of takeovers, the capture node should inform players that no points will be scored by docking on them. Service pop-up readability has been improved. Uh, da -da -da, the readability of the embassy text has been improved. Um, but special monthly events. There's the event store, of course, and that's going to be open until January 4th. It's open as of today. So, Leg of the Arc will also feature an event store. There's going to be like the event store at the finale of the Borg event, the event store at the finale of the Rogue event, the new ship, of course, which is Sarcophagus. There's the Terran Invasion events. These are going to be held on the 8th through the 28th. Scoring, score by completing milestones and select events with the Battle Pass Points Badge. This is your big Alliance ALB. Your cornered animals. Score by completing all core missions. All required missions can be unlocked through the battle pass on milestones 4 and 12. This is going to be the the event kind of like last arc and the arcs previous. You get a set amount of missions. If you complete them all, then you get some extra goodies. Ship of the Dead. This is for levels plenty, 30 plus. It's a solo leaderboard. It's going to be one on the 8th through the 10th. Then again on the 15th through the 17th. 22nd through the 24th. Score by upgrading building or using the sarcophagus to defeat hostiles. Notes. When to earn rare Captain Tilly shards along with an epic sarcophagus avatar. 
Rise of the Sarcophagus. This is for anybody level 10 plus. There's a solo milestone and a solo leaderboard. Uh, on the 8th, the 15th, and the 22nd, score by destroying hostiles or spending materials. Posita participate to earn extremely valuable sarcophagus blueprints. Lorca's True Identity. This looks like it's going to be another auction event where we're going to spend all of our resources. Scoring, spend G3 and G4 materials. Notes, win to earn full epic Lorca officer unlock and avatar. It's going to be on the 11th through the 13th, the 18th through the 20th, the 26th through the 28th. Terran Recruits. This is going to be a level 10 plus solo leaderboard. Recruit, gain shards, promote or level up new discovery officers. Captain Tilly, Empress Giorgio, Gabriel Lorca. Win to earn a rare Empress Giorgio avatar along with a rare Terran Empire frame. Collect territory, capture resources. This is for anybody level 25 plus. There's going to be a solo milestone, a solo leaderboard, and an alliance milestone event. There's going to be one on the 10th, 11th, 17th, and the 18th, and the 23rd. Collect raw and refined isogen. War without, war within. This is going to be on the 9th, the 16th, and the 21th. Damage player ships, win PvP combat and specified systems, spend titanium on ships. In order to promote fair competition, fair competition, players will only earn points from PvP battles in designated level segmented systems. I do believe what that means is, if you are level 10 through 12, you go over here to Zahoro system and you fight other level 10 through 12 players. If you're higher than level 12 and you're in this system, you're not going to earn any points. All the way through the brackets. So it's 37 to 39, Averin system. Uh, all of our 40 plus players are stuck fighting amongst themselves. Galactic Takeover, level 25 plus, Alliance Leaderboard, 12 9 through 12 15, 12 16 through 12 22, 12 23 through 12 28. Score by winning takeovers and defeating armadas in Origin Sector Capture Space. Win to earn an epic takeover frame. Reaper Rewards. 12-12 through the 15th, 19th through the 22nd, and 24 through the 27th. Scoring. Spend ISO Emotion and Particles on TC Research or spend ISO Emotion on bundles in the TC Store. There's going to be more anomaly events for levels 21 plus with solo milestones. Depending on the day, commanders can earn points by mining mycelium, engaging in combat with anomaly hostiles, or instant warping and summoning with your USS Discovery. This is one of the bugs they fixed that's going to be very depressing. I don't know if anybody else gamed the system, but with the previous events, all you really had to do was warp back and forth between a system with all of your ships, and you would complete the event in a couple minutes. Civis Possum Parabellum. 12-8, 12-15, 12-22. This is going to be for anybody 39+. Plus. Deal whole damage to capital traders and Sol, Romulus, and Kronos. Earn extra points for dealing damage with specified combat ships. And then, of course, there's going to be holiday events. The 2020 holiday event will consist of three sequential events, each lasting 48 hours. At the end of each event, in the gifts section, players will be given the option of either selecting a solo reward or an alliance-only reward. Hmm... Players can only choose one of the two options. Collaborate with your alliances to figure out the best option. Remember, it's the season of giving. Also in the gift section, use the holiday tokens that you earn from the events to redeem special rewards such as the new Discovery Officer Shards, Sarcophagus Blueprints, Upgrade Materials, Faction Credits, or Event Store Currency. Currency. These bundles will only be available until 12 and 30. Holiday event number one is going to be a season of giving. It's going to be the 24th to the 26th. Give Alliance Helps. Earn extra points for Alliance contributions. This is going to be a big push. All day event number two. Let it explode. Let it explode. Let it explode. Level 10 plus ALB. It's going to be the 25th through the 27th. We score by dealing hostile damage, armada damage, spend directives, and collect holiday tokens. Note, all participants will earn mission tokens to unlock special TOS missions. TOS. Take over. I don't know what TOS is. Uh, holiday event number three, Trek the Halls. Level 10 through 17, solo leaderboard. 12, 26, and 28, scoring, destroy hostiles, spend materials on ships, tear up ships, and collect holiday tokens. Holiday event number three, three it's all about the family, factions. This is for the level 18 plus players. Collect faction points, earn credits, and holiday tokens. I predict a lot of people are going to be grinding those Federation, Romulan, and Klingon hostiles. Notes, players will need to manually join the faction event of their choosing when to earn an epic TOS Kirk avatar. All participants will earn a rare holiday frame. 
And of course, for more information, there is a fact page that you can go to. And let's take a look at our events and our event store. And of course, we have a battle pass. And of course, with every battle pass, you can go up here and go to the store. And I do recommend, even if you are a free-to-play player, at least spending the $20 on the Elite Battle Pass Unlock option. It's not much. It's going to give you five Lorca Shards. It's going to give you your Elite Battle Pass Unlock and give you your Alliance Mates a three-minute speed up. But it is going to unlock that second tier of the Battle Pass. And like I said, even if you're a free-to-play player for a game that you're playing fairly regularly for free, 20 bucks here or there for extra rewards to help speed up your game, great. There is also the $100 pack option. And like I said, I do not promote spending on this game for the most part. I do think the battle passes are an extremely reasonable and valuable purchase. But there is also the $100 unlock option. It's going to give you 40 Larka shards, 25,000 latinum, and of course you're unlocked. 2 million officer EXP. It's going to give you 550 discovery recruit tokens, 1,000 federation credits, and 12,000 recruit tokens. I do believe this is gated by level, so your numbers may be lower, may be higher. And then, of course, we have the battle pass in and of itself. Like I said, there's a free-to-play path, free, elite. Everything up here you get for free just by doing your events throughout the month. For that $20, you also get to unlock these events down here. As you've noticed, I have not collected on any of my events because there is an officer recruit event coming up. And I just want to wait to collect all those shards until then, which is also why I'm waiting to buy my battle pass till then. There are a number of goodies within the battle pass, as always. The most interesting goodies so far are going to be these Terran Imperial credits. These are going to be spent, these are going to be your currency, just like with the Borg Arc, the Borg War Funds, and also the Apex Rogue Rogue credits. I forgot what the, the, the Rogue stuff that we spent was. But just like that as well. Uh, you're also going to get Officer Shards throughout here, and rep, er, Faction credits. All three factions, not just one, not just a, a pittance, but all three factions. Doing these events on a daily basis isn't that hard. Even if there are days where you can't complete, there's usually uh, enough events throughout the month to complete your arc and then some. Um, lots of uncommons. You got your mission keys. There's going to be all seal motion. Also throughout this one, there's going to be progenerator alloys and spore drive components. There's also, don't know what this is yet. Oh, wait, hold on. Duranium, used to upgrade the sarcophagus, acquired through the territory capture store while having the sarcophagus. Material forge service activate, active at player level 30 and above. Captain Tilly shards. Let's see what else we got. More faction credits. Sarcophagus shards. All sorts of goodies throughout here. And like I said, this goes all the way up. Badges. More sarcophagus shards, more officer shards. I went through this earlier. Oh, there's also a frame. Captain Sylvia Tilly, or otherwise known as Captain Killy. Anyway, I did the math earlier. If you just go through the free battle pass without spending the $20, you will earn a total of 63,000 Imperial credits, a total of 14 additional sarcophagus blueprints, 7 Lorca shards, 10 Tilly shards, and 4,920 that's like half a faction ship of faction credits each faction not just one each on the pay version of the pass you'll earn an equal amount of imperial credits 63,000 an additional 27 sarcophagus shards um, 12 more Lorca shards and depending on if you do the $20 pass or the $100 pass that's either another additional 5 or 40 shards there's not any Tilly shards on the pay pass, but there are 16 Empress Giorgio and an additional 4,920. That brings our grand total to 126,000 credits, 41 sarcophagus blueprints, 19 Lorca shards, not counting the shards as you can get for which pass you buy, 10 Tilly shards, 16 Empress shards, and 9,840 faction credits. That's half of a level 28 ship. Almost half, just under half. And then, of course, we take those Imperial Faction credits and we have the Faction Store. Or not the, the Faction Store, the Event Store. Uh, this is broken up based on your level. Uh, you get Botany Bay Blueprints, uh, Plutonium Discovery Blueprints, Cultivated Mycelium. 
I'm running out of this stuff. You can get 80k of this for 30k, or there's an elite pack. I don't know if the math is better, but for 150k you get 480,000. So that is a bit of a bump. You can buy spore drive components, 200 for 5900. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. More Devore blueprints. The Devore blueprints are remarkably cheap. So if you've been collecting Devore blueprints throughout the months in your, you know, uh, 30 day chests and your uh, Armada packs, that's it. Uh, Devore parts. More Vidar blueprints in case you don't have a Vidar. You can buy an entire Vidar. Yeah. Uh, I have a tier 9. So, or excuse me, tier 8, so I can spend 150 for 220k. This is the same amount of charged nanoprobes that comes in the pay pack, just without all the extra goodies. If you haven't gotten that second Stella yet, and you're still on the fence, you can get your second Stella now. And of course, I can get half of any of the faction miners. Uh, up to 20 B-Rel, Gladius, Intrepid blueprints. Same with the Augur, the D4, and the Enterprise. Uh... Officer shards. This is probably where I'll spend most of my credits just because I love leveling up my officers. Aram shards. You got that isogen mining speed. Uh, chance to inflict burning when defending on a node. Uh, 1500 for an uncommon shard. 800 for a common. Hughes. Yep, 1500 for uncommon. Burnham. Tilly. Ash. My namesake. Anyway, you can get ash shards, and rares are only 2,000 apiece. Paul Stamets, Saru, Burnham, and Giorgio. Giorgio, 6,800 shard or er, credits per shard. So there is an, an opportunity throughout the month to just save up and actually buy these officers. Uh, you also got your uncommons, rares, dilithium, par steel, titanium, independent credits. This is an, a bigger addition than I remember from the last one but you can buy a total of 10 so for 190,000 you can buy 5,000 independent credits if you're not interested in the rest of the stuff and you're on the fence about what to buy I do recommend getting some of these just because independent credits it's hard to come by sometimes discovery recruit tokens ultra recruit tokens minor commendations ah, okay uh, mirror Mirror Missions, if we remember these from the Mirror Mirror event. Business as Usual Mission Chain, I don't know much about this one just right now. Ship Parts, Ship EXP, and of course all the avatars that have been available throughout the event so far, all the different arcs, all the different avatars that were available can be purchased now. I don't remember this avatar ever being available. I might have missed it, might not have been paying attention, 150000 for that one. Um, I have Alliance members that literally did not sleep for days in order to earn this one. That is it. That's what's available in the event store. And as far as the events go, right now there's still the two year anniversary event, it's almost over. Separatist Hunt BP event, super easy, this is where you get your battle pass points. And Scopely is following through with their whole Battle Pass events, only reward Battle Pass points. Rise of the Sarcophagus. Working my way through it. Kill hostiles or spend materials. Earn points. And of course you get Imperial Credits and 7 Sarcophagus Shards. Um, interesting note, while following around on the Star Trek official Discord, um, I had two different reference points. Panic was stating it should take two months to get a sarcophagus for completely free um, somebody else was saying a few months um, don't have a confirmed time frame on how soon you can earn it completely free and then of course there is the ship of the dead event and just to check oh no there is somebody actually bought the ship flat out um, this is an event epic avatar a full tilly unlock 30k imperial credits Terran Invasion ALB, this is going to be the month-long event in which Battle Pass points are earned by your Alliance, contributing to your overall total and your Alliance placing. And then the Cornered Animal event we were talking about, new missions, new missions, you're going to earn Imperial Credits, 3700, bring out the calculator, 
3750 plus 1880 plus 1130 plus 750. I'm going to equate to 7510 additional Imperial credits just for doing the missions. Uh, as well as the mission rewards for the missions themselves. Don't know what those rewards can be yet. Haven't unlocked them. And that's what we got going on currently right now. Alright, so we're already up to about 20 minutes on this video. I think that's long enough. Uh, we'll do another video after this going over the officers because there are new officers. And uh, also talk a bit about the sarcophagus in and of itself. Whether we think it's a fantastic ship or not. Oh, another quick peek at the store. You can get the sarcophagus unlock today for the low, low price of $300. And the fact that you're allowing to buy it in increments of 27, knowing that you're going to be earning blueprints, leads me to believe that maybe, just maybe, you're going to be able to get more. I don't really recommend these packs. I mean, I'm really itching to just do it myself just to have a sarcophagus to play with it tell you more about it but as you can see looking at the packs there's there's no uncommons this this whole this, i mean compared to other packs where you're buying ship blueprints and everything there's there's usually a couple hundred uncommons that you're going to be needing for that ship in and of itself uh we already talked about the elite premium rewards the premium rewards there's also the terran imperial credit slush fund scopely was nice in their infinite wisdom to at least at my level only purchases six times but for 100 bucks you do get 34,000 latinum 120k imperial credits you got your rares you got your uncommons and then various other materials speed ups relocation tonicans and alliance credits for your alliance um, there is the new discovery officer ultra recruit pack i don't know if it's new or they just changed the frame doesn't she look sexy? Anyway, uh, 1,500 Discovery Recruit Tokens, 2,000 Ultra Recruit Tokens. It's not a bad deal. And then, of course, they do have three tiers of that. $20 pack, $50 pack, $100 pack. And that's it for the current sales right now. Like I said, this video is already getting kind of long, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Uh, thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, uh, was informative give it a thumbs up subscribe uh, any comments any questions drop them down below i'll try and answer them for you uh, but until next time stay safe have fun and good luck release the kraken